This phenomena happens so much in this scenario. Being manipulated is so awful. And the thing is, when you're being manipulated, you don't even know. You don't even notice. How is it that someone can get away with it so cleverly? You feel duped, you feel traumatized, yet this feeling lasts or stays with you for quite some time. Let's look at the sneaky ways that the narcissist manipulates and seduces you. friends and welcome back i hope that you're all doing really well so in today's video we're looking at manipulation we're looking at the sneaky ways that these people are able to get us under our skin and the thing is when it's happening we don't even know and it is really challenging it is really awful when someone does something like this to you because it feels like you have been duped it feels like someone has pulled the wool over your eyes and you didn't even see it and this is where it becomes really problematic because it feels like you have been robbed. You feel like you have been taken advantage of. And it happens only after when the person leaves. That is when you realize this is when it becomes an issue. It's an issue. So let's look at manipulation in this video. Okay, let's look at this and let's look, let's try and understand what really is going on here. Because ultimately, when somebody does this, what they are doing is they are tricking you okay into believing something and this is emotional abuse let's talk about this but my friends just before we get into the video i just quickly want to say that i do go live on the channel every single tuesday if there is a question if there is something on your mind i'd say come on over join the live because i tell you something it is really lively and it is a vibe listen who says healing has to be boring and there is a wonderful community as well every tuesday on this channel would love to see you there Okay, so let's talk about sneaky ways that narcissists manipulate. Now, the thing is with them, they're all about illusions. It's all about lying. It's all about pretending to be someone that they're not. If you were happy, right, look at it this way, my friends. If you were happy in who you were, if you were happy being yourself, do you not think that you would be yourself? Ultimately, I think, I don't think there's any other way of kind of saying it, but you would be yourself because you're happy with who you are and you kind of don't need to pretend to be someone else. But you see, someone like the narcissist, they don't know who they are. They are made up of different people, experiences, and they take on people's identity. So who they really are is an amalgamation of all the people that they have probably known or dated or been with in their life. They are not happy with who they are. So when they pretend to be another person, when they take your identity, and they do because they mirror you, they make you believe that they are someone who is very similar to you, that they are someone who cares about you, that they are someone that maybe you would want them to be. You see, this comes from childhood, right? And it's this one particular bit, all right, where the child realizes that their parent is rejecting them. So the narcissistic child realizes the narcissistic parents are rejecting them, meaning that they don't like them the way that they are. So the child then has to adapt or become a different version of themselves so that they please their parents. So if you think about it, the parents are doing this to the child. They are making that child change who they are. So the narcissistic child at this point, okay, tries to pretend they mirror their parents, they love their from their parents to become a version that they think their parents would want them to be. Sound familiar? That's exactly what happens in the relationship. All right. So all of the behaviors that they have learned by you know, like in their childhood what happens is they then project them into adulthood, into adult relationships, because that's their only way of understanding of how to relate to others. They don't know any other way. And this is where it becomes problematic because they don't actually themselves come to the table. This is why they manipulate the way that, they see, that you see them. They mirror you, they seduce you, they love bomb you. So what you're seeing 
is basically a reflection of you being reflected back to you because they are being this person that they think you would want them to be. And this is why you're kind of thinking, oh, this is my soulmate, this person is amazing, I am actually in love with them, I can't leave. Why would you want to leave? If this person was genuinely like this, why would you want to leave? You, you know, you're vibing with that person, you're getting on with that person, why would you leave? But then comes the sinking feeling that you realize that this person isn't like this. And that is the issue, that this person tricks you, that this person b pretends to be somebody else. And this is a psychological tactic or tool that toxic people use because they know if they show up who they truly are, you'd run a mile. But this is it. And this is where we have to realize that if it feels too good to be true, or if you feel that this person is not who you want them to be, that, that is the issue. They're not. You have to take your time and really study this person, really watch this person, because this person is showing you just a small proportion of who they are. And this is how narcissists seduce. This is how they charm, right? This all happens right at the beginning when they catch you off guard. And if someone isn't putting boundaries up or, or feel confident within themselves, you're gonna see what you wanna see. And the narcissist will present that to you. And this is where you've got to be clever, my friends. You've got to be clever about this, okay? Going forward, all right? You've got to understand that people like this will prey on certain people who are kind, who are compassionate, who are patient, who are not there to cause trouble, who are easygoing. The narcissist looks for people like this because they know that they can get away with what they are doing. They know that this person isn't going to challenge them. They know that this person perhaps is really kind and really empathetic, really understanding. These are the people that they are looking for. This is what they want. This is how this is happening. They, you see, they don't want to be challenged. They don't want to make things difficult. They want to do this and get away with it. They want to get their needs met and be able to get away with it for as long as possible before you start questioning them. And even when you do, look what happens. They start going into a rage. They start being horrible. They start gaslighting you, telling you that there's something wrong with you. But there isn't. And this is what they use these manipulated tactics because they can't be themselves. They know that if you saw a version, okay, of them that truly is them, you wouldn't want to stay. And they want to stop that from happening. They want you to stay in this relationship, in this scenario for as long as possible. Because you know why, my friends? They are getting their needs met. And if this person is getting their needs met, why would they want you to leave? And the thing is, you stay trapped. You stay entrapped in this whole thing that is going on because you can't see it for what's what's happening because they create this amazing illusion, this fog. This is why deep inside of you, your intuition is telling you, do you know what? This isn't meant to happen like this. This isn't supposed to happen like this. Yet, what happens is that you override your intuition you make excuses for this person because you you don't want to see it for what it really is and of course you're going to do that because you love this person you you care for this person you don't want any harm to come to them and of course it's going to be heartbreaking when you discover this when you realize this i get that but the narcissist will seduce and this is their this is their psychological ammo against you this is what they do because they can't be their real selves Okay, they have to do these manipulative tactics because there is no other way around this. There's no other way of them being different, for them showing up as a completely different person. Like, they have to, they have to mold themselves into being, you know, what people want them to be. Otherwise, they know that they're not going to be accepted. And remember, their triggers is rejection and abandonment. They don't want that to happen. They're going to make sure that they are protected against them. They're going to make sure that that doesn't happen. That's why they trick you. That's why they do these things. It's, it's a very strange thing because why would you, why would you want to do this? Why would you, why would you trick someone into staying with you or trick someone into seeing a version of you that isn't real? Well, that's because deep down, you don't like who you are. You don't want that person to know the real you because actually, you don't even know the real you. You're ashamed of the real you. And that is what happens. And even if those of you with a narcissist has got new supply, it's the same thing, my friends. It is the same thing. They are going to do this. 
because there is no other way around it. This is how they are. And once you realize this, once you realize that this is exactly who they are, what they do, you will understand that this person, okay, is damaged. They don't know, they don't have an identity. They use yours because they don't know any other way to be. So my friends, I really hope this video helps. If you want to get more information or know a little bit more about some of the things that I've talked about in this video, watch this one, because I talk more about it. I also do one-to-one -one consultations, and if you're interested in booking one with me, please see the description box below. I've also got a mentorship and a journal club, and if you're interested in joining, please see the description box below. And if you want to join a supportive community, I would say join the Discord server because there is a wonderful group of people that are there to help you. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.